Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to episode 26 of Rockhold, the Gift of Shadow. Well, we are at the end of the Winter of Beasts, as I'm pretty sure that the folks here in this place will call it. We have taken down a creature made out of snow that tried to topple our castle. It was not much of a big deal. Today, well, what were we going today? I'm pretty sure that we are going to see a huge success on the castle front. We have the siltstone and the church block madness, so we should be open for, uh, for business today. So I really want to get a couple of things done in a, well, in a few episodes, because I really feel like it is really about time that the, the cast part of Rockhold is finished up. We are almost at completion at that point at least. We just have to finish up this level, then we're going to go upstairs one last time, and then it's good. That will be the completion of the castle. Very, very much looking forward to that. I mean, not quite. We still have to uh, build the central tower which will be quite some work as I want to make it the highest part of the castle, but yeah, we are absolutely getting there. So in the meantime, I only hope that our goblin friends will visit us soon because we need fresh goblinite. We are very, very much out of metals to work with and that troubles me. So, well, I was recently considering to send the cobalt acts to raid enemies off-site, but uh, just a moment after I have con considered this, we've had a attack on our base. Exactly that, Titan. So, well, this left me with a bag of mixed feelings. If we go outside just with that squad, we might be in trouble. So the options I got would be simply put just to make two squads out of the one squad I got, or wait until we have trained up more people. So I don't like any, um, any of these options, to be quite honest with you folks. So, well, it'll be still another entire year before our friends from the mountain home will, will give us a, another visit. So we're, we're going to give it a try. So let's see, Eden, the newest addition to the Cobalt Acts is probably not fit to the task, but we'll see about that. So, my friends, we're going to go to Profane Cult and raise the site. There we go. So, off to the mission you go, my friends. The thing is, to me, I have decided that our security system here is truly magnificent enough to fend off whatever wants to attack us. A simple goblin invasion won't bring us down to our knees anymore, and I think our brave soldiers can take a little bit of a raiding trip. It would take really a long, long time if I'd be doing it otherwise. And I don't want to spend that much unnecessary time with those goblin pits festering down there. Nobody would want that, right? So. Good luck, my friends. You are now out on the road. So. Winter just ended and with the break of spring, our brave warriors went on to raise the goblin pits of profane cult. I'm very happy that we see now some action against this. Let's get us somewhere. So, another thing that I want to do today, I want to utilize the fine metals that we got, at least a couple of them. So, we have brass. Let's use this. I really don't know, though, how much brass we are going to need for one altar, so let's give it a try. All right. So, Besmar, the blacksmith. 
constructing a building. I see. Yeah, this building construction stuff is really occupying them quite a lot, but it is okay. You see, the the business that we are uh, spreading here is really getting the castle done in a uh, in a really really amazing speed. I like that. And sending my people now to craft that many more silstone blocks has the hidden advantage that the next part of the castle will be built much, much faster. I'm very much in trouble about our soldiers right now. Really hope that they're going to be back soon from their battle. Okay. Yeah, it is insane how much they get done if you if I allow them to, to just build endless amounts of these blocks. It's always impressing me. So, since the stairwells are getting done now, we are going to issue the the last of the jobs now. So, this will be the upper parapet. This will be where we will fight enemies that would climb up the walls if they ever had siege towers if this would be a thing in this game this would be where we'd be fighting them back so let's not block the stairwells accidentally and most importantly we're going to move it over here There we go. So that'll keep our, our friends busy for a while. So one last thing that I mean to do, what I personally think will be pretty, pretty solid and amazing, will be one last ledge. So we're going to make it here. And we're going to make it here. So we're going to put walls around that. So you can't have an easy time passing between those sections of the castle. All right, so the Cobalt Acts have no more special orders. Fighters are coming back home, all of them. These are truly, truly good news. So let's see. The Cobalt Acts have returned. Let's see the map. Well, mission report. So, in the early spring, the goblins were confronted, and we killed them. But obviously we didn't kill all of them. That happens. We gained a bit of uh, good stuff, actually. So, my good friends, I, I dare say you, you find yourselves back into the uh, barracks for a day or two, but then we just strike back again. But I want to give my folks a little bit of a uh, breathing time. That's a pretty good loot. All right. Just want to make sure that they all came back home, had some time to recover from the uh, from their adventures. So a brass altar does require two bars. That means we can make one more brass altar, one more silver altar, and we could make more electrum, but I, I don't want that. So, another brass altar, and another silver altar. It's just I want to have a couple of religious uh, things going on here. So, silver, 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 silver. There it goes. So, if I am not mistaken, these altars should be also stored here because other large tools, right? Brilliant. Okay, 
Meanwhile, the dwarves of Rockhold are really, really, really working hard on the completion of this project. We do see that the whole siltstone business is going down just as intended and just as expected. This is just uh, the same old man as that we've seen so many times before. But the big difference will be that it'll be the last time of this section. That's what I'm really, 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 really looking forward to. So... After that, it's only going to be the question how to build the central tower. And then the castle is going to be completed. Alright, so I'm going to be sending the Cobalt Acts now another time to raise Profane Cult. So there we go. Good luck, friends. It is such a big advantage that we got all the trap systems down to defend ourselves. We either lock ourselves in, or we let them run through the traps and uh, that's where they'll die. I, I really appreciate what we got going on there. I also love the fact that the statue is exactly showing what happened there, graphically and in text. This is so, so wonderful. Except for the fact that one of my main cast people died and is buried here. Rest in peace, Dusen. So sorry about that. Took a took a goblin bolt to the guts. That's uh, how you die here in Rockhold. Damn goblins! But we're taking sweet, sweet revenge today. That's what we're doing. For Dusim, my friends. For Dusim. So, on the other end of the castle, look at them go. Jeez, they're fast. This is uh, always. Always amazing me to no end. And uh, here we have successfully eliminated the staircase construction. Good job, Icon. Good job. So we're making this top-notch priority. Because that staircase will save so much time once it's done. Alright. So, well, now we are back at the pod where we need to make doors doors are just always such a uh, requested item in this fort. Ah, well. I love to see the progress we're making, and I hope we're going to eliminate those Dawn Goblin pits. That would be really amazing. Alright. What I also notice is that my... What happened with Autumn? So, Autumn the Haggard Child. He's still Haggard, Autumn Gravel Gully, but uh, he's not throwing that many tantrums anymore. You know what, Autumn? You you just got promoted. Yeah, you. You depressive piece of uterus there, Autumn. Welcome. So, let's check on Autumn's personality. He's assertive to the point of aggression, unwilling to let others get a word in edgewise when he has something to say. He's gripped by a crippling shyness after being uncovered in 109. He's currently more shameless. He's confident under pressure. He turned around after retching on miasma in 108. Jeez, that boy had a harsh life. He very rarely develops negative feelings towards things. He does not easily fall in love and rarely... What's going on here? Ooh. This looks dangerous. He does not easily fall in love and rarely develops positive sentiments. He takes offered help and doesn't mind a little tumult and discord in day-to-day -day living. And he's conflicted by this since he values harmony as an intellectual concept. He's quite polite and he's more rude currently. He has a greedy streak and he's slow to anger. He generally acts with a narrow focus on the current activity and he enjoys the company of others. He isn't given to flights fancy and he is trusting. He's more fearless, confident and less private. So, well, he likes basalt, nickel, yellow zircon, spiny dogfish leather, giant musk ox horn, animal tooth, gems, shoes, earrings, horses. Alright. Nightmares for their unfathomably horrifying nature. <laughs> what a goth. Okay, so 
Welcome, Autumn. I really hope that your life will become better now as a part of the main main cast. So uh, yeah, we we have we have birds on the roof. That's what we got. Donned birds. But obviously, you see a locked body on the ground already. Obviously, we we took care of the creature. I hate chaos. I mean, who doesn't? These are just nightmarish creatures. But, well, it seems as if the situation is so far under control. I mean, the Kaya are b bothering my, my workers while they're constructing the castle, obviously. I pretty much expected that also, but, well... I am still very, very surprised about the fact that there has been still no agitated animal on the map. I so much expected them to happen. Hmm. Well, that's how you can be wrong. Obviously, this biome... I thought it was Savage Lands. Hmm. Well. It should be. But maybe I was wrong. We'll see about that. All I can say is that... Today, I think, we might be even... Well, we are not going to finish the entirety of the castle, but we're going to be able to finish the blueprinting, I think. All in all. Because this all here... Yep, church wall section is so much complete already that we can start drawing it upstairs. Hell yeah. So here we're going to relocate the the doors a little bit. All right. Guys, the outer walls are finished. Well, they are going to be finished very soon. TM. So we're going to go and make it look like that, I'd say. So this wall will run from here to there. And uh, I think I will leave this uh, part blank there. The center part here. I think this will look pretty good. Ah, look! There's another mangled Kea on the roof. Get rid of it. Stupid creatures everywhere. So we're going to carve some fortifications into these walls. I mean, mostly for the looks of it, obviously, because we don't even have any Mox Dwarfs. But yeah. So here we're going to go for the, the same part. Wait a sec. So let's see. These are not necessarily a thing right now. No, they're not gonna. We're gonna make it differently here. Just gonna wall it off like there. And like there. I'm so happy! Look, it's always a, uh, a, a, a really, really massive feeling of joy for me whenever I I finally get done with the blueprinting of projects like these and all the things. So the Cobalt Acts have no more special orders. Let's hope they successfully destroyed the Pit of Evil. So the FPS dropped down to 20 right now. That's a lot of busy jurists. All right, so yeah, this uh, level is complete. This one, not yet, but getting there. So let's see, all friends returned all safe and sound. Let's look at the map. The Den of Evil still stands. Damn it, this is really, really bothering me, but what can we do? So the creatures have been
we did we, we killed a couple of goblins living there that's what we did and we we looted some items i mean seriously we were looting some 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 decent stuff there's a lot of nice iron gear um coming around out of these constantly so well at least in that regard it is profitable you know but my friends we need to strike again this is the nature of these raids i did that in the in the savage lands video series already and yeah it it, it does take some time until you have completely destroyed a site sometimes sometimes not sometimes they just go over there smack some uh, some dudes and uh job's done it's uh it can be wild so let's go for a third attack yeah we we're not done with you guys we are mad 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 dwarves that's what we are so I really hope that if we get raided, though, that somebody will will be fast enough to flick the switch. Because that would really suck. If we'd had all the defenses in place, and then it'd all fail, because nobody would be able to flick the switch fast enough. Well, I shouldn't be doing these self-fulfilling prophecies, shouldn't I? So, one last thing I do realize, though, is lacking. And that is the roof of the towers so we need to do that this is just necessary realize that there we go so then we're going to put some roof on top of the towers and then i'll call it complete Ooh, I, I Kaya ran, ran into one of my hammer wards. What creature? <laughs> Alrighty. So far, we're doing really, really well on this. Very happy to see that. The only thing suffering so far is my FPS. But that's a pretty common thing happening when you have so many work orders down and so many construction things uh, down. Ah, the chaos is stealing my loot. These gosh darn creatures. Damn it. This is, uh, this is outrageous, but it is okay. I mean, we are not raiding the goblins for the loot. We are raiding them for the sake of removing them from a landscape. It's uh, sort of a difference, right? All right. So let's put some floor on top of all this. There we go. I think these towers will, at the end of the day, require all some hatches. So we can lock off the ceiling thing. I mean, technically I could also just build a ramp. Just build a ramp there, there. But nah. I like the idea of my towers having a staircase that leads upstairs there, you know. So. Also, I feel like many of these buildings inside here do require some more furnish furniture. It is just a little bit uh, dreary here altogether. But, well, in all fairness, this fort has been built in a really, really fast um, pace. We have spent not that much time, and by now Rockhold is already a thriving place of economy. I mean, well, wealth-wise we created, it's hard to tell. Architecture, 
92,000 bucks. I don't like the idea of that. Okay. Love to see how fast everything gets done here. So let's head back to the city. This siltstone quarry here lasts really good. We also have brought up a decent amount of dirt, so I'm quite confident that what we got here will be enough. What a relief. I mean, we had to quarry quite a lot here for this fort. But, well, it's always like that, isn't it? Okay. Wow, they are so fast. If you let them uh, non-stop craft these blocks, they can really get these things done. It's such an impressive amount of time. I always am baffled about the productivity of 200 dwarves at home just doing their stuff. All right. So it's uh, very, very exciting for me. It's the first castle that I ever built with proper um, parapet and all. The Cobalt Acts have returned. So let's see, did they finally? No, they didn't. But the population of Profane Cult dropped to a meager 10. So we are doing the, something here. So we... We killed yet another um, dude. And we brought back just a pair of dingo leather trousers this time. So, well, let's see. I think... One more attack, and they should finally give up their uh, resistance and uh, give in to annihilation. This is only the beginning, my friends. You have messed with the wrong dwarves. Alright. So, I'll be sending my soldiers right away to another trip once they have properly rested up. So we're going to give them a few days to, to get back into their, uh, into their regular business, so... But just like I was hoping for, we're totally smacking these guys. So there's by now such a uh, literal mess of uh, dead animal bodies lying around here. It's quite disgusting. But well, sums of nature, it's quite disgusting. If you ask yours, that is. Okay, so enough time spent with recuperating. Let's raise the place once and for all. Don't know why that is still on the tab. So, my dear friends, that also brings up pretty much the end of today's episode. Well, where are we now? I mean, we are pretty much done here, mostly. The castle itself is on a da gosh darn good way, and the only thing that I need to whip up architecture-wise are now the is, is now the central tower. I think the central tower. I want to work on that. I have pretty much an idea already, so I'm going to il illustrate that in the upcoming episodes. I'm very very much looking forward to that. So yeah, Rockhold is seeing its completion sooner or later and it's gonna be really really cool and I'm very excited to, to already, I'm already kind of pondering where to head next but uh, well, one thing at a time. One thing at a time. So my dear friends, drop me your comments down below. I'm all ears and eager to hear back from you. And as usual, a thumbs up to please the algorithm god would be deeply appreciated. And if you like the stuff I'm doing, just consider subscribing. There's a daily dosage of dwarf in here for you. And apart from that, check out the description box. You will find 
many other Dwarf Fortress series there. I also did here already the Fortress of Sandwalls. And you can also find there the Savage Land Saga, a five fortress playlist. So there's a lot of things uh, to go around if you enjoyed. You can also check out my Discord, my Twitch, or also PayPal, Patreon, and buy me a coffee alongside with the YouTube membership system. All these things would be amazing if you'd gave them a look. And all in all, I want to say thanks a lot to the supporters of Icon Gaming and especially thanks a lot to you right there, right now, watching this video up until the very end. I deeply appreciate having folks like you and I hope you had a good time and I can't wait to get into our next session when this castle will be complete on the outer walls and we're going to start working on that magnificent tower here. Can't wait and see you there.